Thank you once again. Thank you so much to Inter Miami and David Beckham for hosting me yesterday. If you have been crawled under a rock somewhere, that's the only way you haven't been able to see my David Beckham interactions. I was wearing this jersey today and there is his signature uh, on it now for all the scumbag fucking cunt assholes out there, especially the Cindy's in Hong Kong. They would say, oh, you bought this jersey with the signature. I was wearing this jersey in my live stream yesterday. You can access my live stream and it was unsigned. And today it's signed with David Beckham's signature. And you can see all over my socials, the signing of everything and me interacting with David whilst I sat right outside his box as his guest. Amazing to have worked with Inter Miami. How incredible of a team they are. Here's an unsigned hat. Here's a signed David Beckham hat. No, they do not come signed. They come signed. So that should just put the naysayers to bed for a bit. But what a team, what an organization Inter Miami are. They are just incredible. So much, so much class. What does that say? Hong Kong FC? What does it say? I can't read it. Inter Miami Inter Seattle. I love Hong Kong, but forget about Hong Kong because the behavior in the stadium yesterday was atrocious. Inter Miami and David Beckham just exude class and we are blessed that they came to Hong Kong. They are just incredible teams stacked with superstars, an amazing coach, what an owner, the world's most famous man. And he, and he was just so classy yesterday. So, 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 so classy. And the event was the most amazing showcase. I've lived in Hong Kong all my life. People harp on about the Rugby Sevens, the Rugby Sevens, the Rugby Sevens. You want to see class? The Rugby Sevens is full of people getting trashed. You know I mean, primarily Caucasians, just so odd. I mean, you know, women stripped down to their bears, men urinate over each other, the Rugby Sevens stuff. This exuded class, the who's who of Hong Kong was there. Classy Chinese were there. Fathers were there with their sons. Fathers, mothers, children together. It was such a wonderful event. It was a true Super Bowl event mega concerts before mega concerts after david beckham talking with the crowd lionel messi and louis suarez walking around the pitch sergio busquets and jordi alba while legends of barcelona and spain actually playing the match against our hong kong side it was incredible i met david he engaged with me gave me a hug pounded me gave uh pounds to my family signed their stuff had a great chat, what a man, and I am blessed. I have worked like a motherfucker for so long, you know what I mean? I'm surrounded by a sea of degenerates here at work, you know this, you know what I mean? So, so, so lazy and, and, and you know, so much lies come from them, and I just keep going forward and going forward, and I felt so much vindication yesterday and such blessing. So I met David Beckham, it's like a wow, 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 wow moment in my career, and, and now the opportunity to work with him, it is just fantastic. Thank you, Inter Miami, what an amazing, operation they have i mean just they built it from the ground so quickly and they exude class in every single ways so if you haven't seen my david beckham interaction check it out on all my socials it's actually gone viral everywhere yesterday the stadium was a sea of pink into miami playing pink and it was just brilliant and I felt even more blessed and so chuffed everywhere I went, every meter that I walked, people would stop me for, for selfies, for autographs. It was wild. I was just mobbed over there and I, I felt like, I felt vindicated and blessed and humbled at the same time. It's like, you know, all my hard work, right? You know, going against the grain, not listening to the assholes around me, like my father and uncle and the other people in my community and stuff, you know, about doing this young Chinese boy, young Chinese boy. I walked around the stadium, every Chinese boy was like, young Chinese boy, young Chinese boy, young Chinese boy. It was like a fucking sea of chanting of young Chinese boy. And then you still, and you know, we talked about package hate a couple of times, a couple of weeks ago, and, and the original package hate uh, monologue went really, really well. People watched it over and over again, people fought it and stuff. And that's what I always say about package hate. Don't listen to the bastards around you because they're bastards. You know what I'm saying? They're bastards, they're lazy, they're jealous, and they lie. You know what I mean? They make shit up. Don't let them hurt you. They're all lies. They tell you, oh, we, we love you. We want to protect you. Don't do this. Don't do that. It's all fucking lies. If you've got a vision, if you've got a vision, go after it. They are real life heroes still on this planet today. And you can be one of them. And I promise you that. And I am one of them. And I prove this week after week. Week after week, I give you something bigger. I give you something fucking huge. You may say, oh, it's easy for you because you're surrounded by degenerates. Listen, bro, I think it's harder because you don't get any fucking help from these people. You're a fucking one-man show all the fucking time, you know what I mean? These guys are just at this fucking water cooler, you know what I mean? Gossiping away, making coffee. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, you know what I mean? This is the ding, ding, you know, the ding, ding, ding on their phone. They bark away on the water cooler. 
You know, some of them, are, you know, injecting shit up my dad's asshole. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what the fuck they do. It's a goddamn fucking Joker show here. Seriously. I mean, it's harder to rise up when you have no support. It's harder to be the man when you have no support. Anyways, I could talk about myself for hours on end. Check out my socials. Check out the video that I dropped with me and David Beckham. And lots more coming up on me and my work with Inter Miami and lots more coming up on, on the game itself. You know, I don't want to inundate you with content. And what about my BJJ stuff, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Oh my goodness, how incredible was that? Where did that come from? That the stories were so well received, the long video on every, every platform was so well received. It's very rare that you get a long video so well received on TikTok and Instagram, but it's on every, every platform. <clears throat> more to come. From martial arts i promise you plenty of incredible content to come this week for now we're going to go to the united states and do a consultation i would appreciate if you would like and share the live for me put me in a better mood than i am now help me to like and share my monologue was completely ruined it, you know i came to work with so much energy so much love so much blessings from god after what i did and then i just come back to work which is a fucking cesspool of latecomers and liars and lazy lazy latecoming liars you know what i mean that's what it is over here, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that's that, and that's the fucking truth, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just spent an entire Sunday with David Beckham, and then I show up back to work, and the culture here is so toxic, okay? So toxic, so, so filled with dishonesty and laziness. It just, it is astounding, it is astounding. And, and you know, it's just, I, I don't know what to do because I've, I've just never been lazy. I've just never lied. I've, you know, I've just never been scared. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. The laziness and the lies and, 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 and the, the talk, at work, who, 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 who. I mean, if you work in any other company, you'll be fucking fired. Even work in Starbucks or McDonald's, they throw the fuck out, you know what I mean? They cannot wait to throw you the fuck out, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really working amongst the lowest level degenerates that you could ever imagine. I'm so fucking handicapped with my team, I, I, I'll tell you, and, it, and it's the truth. And you should do, someone out there should make a reality show on me to see the truth, to see the stark truth behind Sam Steeler and how dark and backwards it is under the, the, the strange umbrella of my father and uncle, because it is atrocious. The, the, the culture here, the work culture is so atrocious. It would not survive in any other place, any other small business, big business, institution, company on any place on the planet. No place. No, not in, not in fucking Mongolia, man. You know, and, and no disrespect to the Mongolians. They've done so much. You know, you know what I mean? And, and you see that, that toxicness and that lack of motivation comes from lack of education. Honestly. You know what I mean? It comes from lack of education. You haven't been taught how you should act, taught how you should behave taught how the rest of the world is acting and behaving and stuff. You know what I mean? I could go on about this forever. Unfortunately, my client is waiting for me to so like and share the live. And in the Q&A, maybe we can talk more about this. So let's call what I believe is going to be New York City. Help me to like and share the live. I am 24 minutes late for my client. I don't even know if you'll pick up the call now. This is... Hey, Charlie. Hello. Sorry. How's it going? You look so handsome. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. It's Ozempic in your suit. It's a powerful Yeah, I was going to say, you've lost a lot of weight since I last saw you. Jesus. Yes, yes. yes. Fucking A. You look so fucking good. That Wow. Looking like a wow. So handsome, so Thank debonair. You. Looking like a wow. So you are at Thank the you. restaurant that you own. It's your family restaurant. Yes. Where, yes, I'm at work right now. Where in New York City is it? Midtown Manhattan. And it's a steakhouse? Yes, steakhouse and sushi, the whole nine yards, you know? Uh, and what's it called? Ocean Prime. I'm in one of the private rooms right now. Amazing. And how many of these restaurants do you own? Uh, 15 nationwide and then 30 different restaurants in Columbus, Ohio, too. Uh, all under Ocean Prime or different names? Different names, different brands. And they're all family. yours, all your father's? Yes, yes. Amazing, does he have a partner in each of the restaurants or is it all solely his? It's all privately held. There's different partners, but he's the majority shareholder. Motherfucker, you are paid, you know what I'm saying? You are fucking paid. You need to be buying a suit from me every month. I mean, I need it, bro, I'm fucking yes. poor here. Okay, I'm gonna design you a fantastic suit. I, I know what you like, I understand you and stuff, but we're gonna talk through it anyways, all right? We're not gonna make it easy on ourselves, all right? So let's get going. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so you have chosen this gray check fabric. It's a gray window pane, correct? You're happy with this? Yeah, Am I correct? I like the purple. I like the purple with it. Okay, gray. good. And you've chosen this dragon lining. Am I correct? Yes. Do you think that pops? I think I think it's super. It's it's going to pop great. All right. And you would like cuffs on the pants, correct? Yes, please, because I wear boots to work. I wear okay, boots. so the pants will be cuffed. Now, listen, I want to talk through the styling. I really like the suits that I made for you when you were here in Hong Kong. Okay. So I love the peak lapel on you. I love the three and a half inch width peak lapel. I love the overlapping buttons on the cuff. I like I love the accented color uh, buttonhole. I love the pick stitching. Uh, uh, it's, I, I could suggest changing to a single vent because you have lost a lot of weight. I like the the um, the ticket pocket. I want to make it kissing though this time. All right. So let me talk you through everything. All right. How much weight have you lost? I think like twenty pounds, but I'm concerned because once you stop this Ozempic medicine, then people gain the weight back a little. Okay. So do do I make do I make the suit uh, to the lower weight, or do I make the suit to the same weight? I think. Same way. I like it a little bit. I know the suit's supposed to be slimmer, but I like a little room with okay, restaurants fine. and all that. So you you like a two button jacket, or you want to try a three roll two, or you want to drop down to a one button? I'm wearing a three roll two. You have a two. I'll try. I don't have a three roll so two. So we're like gonna do a compact like three roll two like this. Okay. Yeah. Let's change the lapel to the semi notch that I'm wearing because you already have peaks sure. for me. Okay. You have in the double breasted and the single yeah. breasted both peak. Let's change yeah. the stitching to the deep press stitch like I'm wearing, the finite line, because you already have the dot. Yeah, that's great. Okay? Let's do, yeah, let's great. do three pockets like we did before, <laughs> but let's go <clears throat> undersized flaps because you've lost so much weight, and let's go with <clears throat> a kissing ticket pocket so that there's no gap. Cool? Sounds great. Okay, so, so semi-notch lapel. I'll, go, I'll make the gorge higher since you've lost weight, so higher in the gorge, semi-notch lapel. <clears throat> Deep press stitch, my own invention, the compact three roll two, okay? Sounds Undersized great. pocket flaps like I'm wearing, slanted pocket flaps, kissing ticket pocket, okay? Overlapping buttons on a fully functional cuff, just like before. Would you like a gauntlet cuff a la Tom Ford, like I always wear? Uh, sure. Let's, sure, let's give it a whirl, Go, sure. gauntlet cuff. Cool. And the last you're button, the thank you. The last button, let's do oversized. Let's make it a Tarzan cuff. Sound good to you? Sounds great. Okay, and that can always disappear if you wanted to, okay? Excellent, all right. You live in New York, it'll have full lining. Let's do a single center vent in the back, uh, a pop vent, and I'm gonna build you a half belt in the back. It's gonna look super sexy. See if you got the half belt. I'm, I'm gonna build you a half belt in the back underneath. It's gonna look super sexy. Okay, sounds great. Okay, great stuff. Now, um, the pants, buckles or belt loops? I like the belt loops because I wear a holster for my wine key over Got it. there and all that. And then flat front or a single British pleat like I wear? Uh, if I gain the weight back, would the pleat not look good? No, it should look great. Okay, I'm sure I'll do the pleat. Why not? I okay, don't great stuff. Pleat. I don't Excellent. own a pleated suit yet. So the jacket is gray and purple. I want to give you Marzoni buttons. Have you heard about my Marzoni buttons? Okay, so we can do the navy. Let's stay away from the gray completely, or we can do the burgundy. I know the navy will go and the burgundy will go. What do you fancy? Uh, I like the I, I like the burgundy with the gray. Okay, so let's do the burgundy with the gray. All right, and then let's put burgundy up here, down here, and down here. One, 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 burgundy. Sound good? Sounds great. And then let's do one hole here, the peak hole in burgundy. Sounds great. And if you don't like it, we'll change it, okay? Now. Very cool. Um, inside the jacket, I'm going to add a secondary organic satin piping, okay, to really spoil you. All right? So. Thank you. We can find something with the yellow or find something with the blue that will look good. All right? I trust, I trust you. Yeah. So that blue will look really nice. That's a great pop. Mira, do we have a yellow? No. Are you sure? Okay. We're going to use this as the piping and as the belt. They will go great together. Sounds great. Okay, Charlie, now listen. I don't believe you at all. And you've dropped 20 pounds. So you're going to send me two videos. 
Okay? Okay. ASAP. You can do it right now. You're at work. You're wearing the last suit I made you, or you're not wearing the last suit I made you? Yes, the, the double breasted. Okay. So I need you in the single breasted. All right? So when you get home tonight. Okay. First video in the phone. Uh, okay? Someone is going to shoot the video. I don't need the ceiling. I don't need the floor. Okay? Compact close-up of the pants and you talking. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this okay. is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the pants look. This is how much weight I've lost. I need to see that. That last looks in 60 seconds, okay? And then I'm gonna have a conversation. Okay. And then the same thing with the jacket. Video number two, straight shot straight into WhatsApp. Roshan, this is how the jacket looks. This is how much weight I've lost. Roshan, this is how the jacket looks. This is how much weight I've lost. Same thing from the back. Roshan, this is how the jacket looks. This is how much weight I've lost. From here. Roshan, this is how the jacket looks. This is how much weight I've lost. From here, using this hand, so it's not blocked. Roshan, this is how the jacket looks. This is how much weight I've lost. I want to see that, less than 60 seconds. Once I see that, I'm going to give you my advice as a professional. And then we're going to have a chat. I'm going to listen to what you have to say back to me. And we're going to take, we're going to bounce back on that because, bro, I mean, you put on weight, you fucking send me the suit back. I, I'll alter the suit for you, right? Okay. Do you, you get what I'm saying? Like the, cool. the point is to make Very you cool. fucking look good. Okay. Thank you. I am never Thank going you. to desert you. Okay. In your, yeah. in your, in your continued journey to look fucking good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Thank you. So you I'm there much. for you always, you know that, right? You messaged me, I said, bro, just pay me so we can get started, right? Thank you. Okay, so one last thing, another treat for you, okay? Is we're gonna go put some contrast underneath the collar of the jacket. We're gonna use Marzoni, Marzoni flannel. Sounds great. And let's pop in this bright blue underneath. So it's like an etro jacket. I like that. Fucking A, right? Let's do it. Okay. So, um, one second. Let's change a couple of things, all right? Now that we talked all through this, I want to change something. I want to talk about, I want to offer up something. Not necessarily change something. Change was a bit extreme. Can I get the mouse on your buttons? Okay. So, yeah, it's purple. Yeah, it's purple. It's purple, purple and blue, right? One of the things that we can do, right, is this. One of the things we can do is, we don't talk about buttons now. We do the four accent colors, one, two, three, and four, in a matching purple here, okay? Okay, for example, do we have a purple in that satin? Can I see any purple? You wanna find another quick purple? We can change the four accent colors to purple. We can do the Etro-esque flannel behind the collar in the purple, okay, for example. And then we can change the buttons to this funkier blue. And then we can do the piping inside in purple. So we, we create the purple symphony. Would you like to change to that or stick to the original? Let's do the purple symphony, I like it. Okay. I like it a lot. So we're gonna change to the purple symphony. The accent colors one, two, three, and four will be in a purple thread as close to this. The buttons, all primary buttons, will be in this funky blue. The piping inside in the half belt will be in the purple. The contrast etro -S flannel underneath the collar will be in the Marzoni purple. Are we not in business? Did we not nail something fucking phenomenal in five minutes? Thank you. I, I deserve to take a bow, correct? Yes, yes. I am that good, but you knew it already, correct? Yes. Roshan, when I get guests from Hong Kong, I tell them about my suits. They love them. I love talking to guests from Asia and Hong Kong about, my, about Sam Taylor suits. And thank you for all you do. Whole team is here. Thank you. You remember everybody, right? We had a party in your shop with your father-in-law, your brother-in-laws, everything. Even Josephine is here. You didn't take her back to Mongolia with you, bro. <laughs> okay. Text me back your Instagram right now. Text me back your Instagram right now. Text me back your Instagram right now. And also then send me those two videos ASAP, okay? Yes, we'll do. Thank you so much. God bless you, bro. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, set me up inside, please. Thank you so much. Well done, everybody.
Now, God, give me one second, guys. Hi, everybody. Do you have questions for me? Hita, wo invitation hai, Papa. Wo minjo cocktail jo invitation. Did you get this? I'm all yours if you want to keep the questions coming thick and fast. Otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking go. Seriously, I mean, yesterday was just atrocious. We had some good days last week. There's also some atrocious days. I mean, I'm happily as a gentleman. Happy to be all yours and stuff. Mira Vopani, please. David Beckham and Roshan. An unstoppable force meets an immovable object. I'm with you there. I, I mean... I, I fucking hate it all. Frederick, look at me and how hard I work, right? How committed I am to my clients and stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's atrocious. They're getting paid, right? They're getting paid, but they, they, my, my father and uncle, right, are getting on. They're just, you know, they're pumping injections up their ass, mixing them tea, giving them massages, you know, squeezing them fresh juices, feeding them snacks, dates, grapes, and, and stuff, right? And, you know, just wheeling their witness. It's, it's, it's comical, right? Uh, Mike Janucci, we can work by mail. How much is a coat? What kind of coat, man? What the fuck? Speak proper English, you mean? I'm not sure what you mean, Ali. I just work like a, like a, like my, my ass off all the time. You know what I'm saying? Suit is 700 US. No, my earrings are not real diamonds. Ghost Jay, come now. So many degenerates, Jesus, you know what I mean? This is why people, you know, this is why people thrive, you know what I'm saying? And then these leftist woke, woke you know what I mean? They're always, ha you know, hating on, on the wealthy, hating on the successful and stuff. But they, they're fucking just lazy. Where can you find my email? What the fuck you want my email for? You know what I mean? First you asked me some whack-ass question. Now you want my email. Um, he does love Justin Moore, right? That's why I said that message to you, CJ, man, uh, and stuff. And your dad's fit is amazing. We can work by mail. Send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, and then I can make you something amazing. Ali, we just finished, I think, on Saturday I was with you, or Friday? Friday I was with you, right? Cannot be so fast. My favorite movie is Dilvalia. No, it's it's Kabi Avidana Kena, for sure, without a doubt. I mean, you guys have to watch my monologue today, right? F fuck the, fuck the, um, the, uh, the consultation, which was very succinct. Uh, I don't have an outlet in Singapore. You're talking nonsense. Uh, I think if you're going to a cocktail, you should wear a peak lapel. And if you're going for business, wear a fish mouth. If you, you know, that's me giving you an answer. It really doesn't matter though. What is the most rewarding aspect of my life? Success. The monologue was amazing. If you guys missed the monologue, go back and watch it once I post it to my Insta. I've worked with many, many big celebrities. I don't drink alcohol. Uh, my fabric comes primarily from Italy and then the UK. I, I don't rank the famous people I've worked with. I appreciate your love, Alma. My kid is doing great. All three kids are doing great. The, my oldest is tough. My second one is quiet. 
And Mira, oh for fuck's sakes, what are you doing? Gusposing away, right? Call Simon for the fucking label, right? We talked about this yesterday. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you guys even watch my monologue? I've slapped, or oh, Daniel, you want to watch his monologue. I've slapped more Chinese ass than any person on the planet. Trust me. I've slapped more ass in general than any person on the planet. Okay, so everybody's very quiet. I'm just say some hellos and I'm going to go. You know, Lal Melwani, I've tried to say, engage with you before, but you wouldn't engage back. You come into all my live streams, which is great. The more the merrier. I've tried to engage with you. and It's just a blank from you. Uh, Jackie Boss, great seeing you yesterday. Hope to see more of you. Thanks for all the love and respect. I really appreciate you, Jackie Boss. Did you hear that? I have had many funny encounters in my shop. I don't know where to start. I've slapped a French aristocrat ass, yeah, many times. How old is your son, Jackie Voss? This is a business trophy. My grandfather started the business in 1957. Let's see, here's on Insta, on TikTok. Lisa, Carl, thanks for being with me every day. Calm. We need to set up a time. We set up a time this week somehow. Danielle, appreciate you every single day. If you want to purchase a suit from me, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. If you want to purchase my merch, it's available on plentyofconsent.com. Six types of sweaters, six types of t-shirts, my baseball cap and my underwear. Jackie, you should bring your son to my shop and get him one of my t-shirts and I'll sign it for him and I'll do a video with him. Obviously, what's better is to bring him to my shop and buy him a suit. Messi was injured, so that's why he didn't play. We know this about all sports, correct? My suit is 700 US dollars. Thank you, straight up buster, I appreciate you. Which school does he go to, Jackie? Have you guys, is everybody here watching, the 100 people or so watching between both streams, have you all seen my Beckham footage? Jackie, did you watch my Beckham footage? The stuff that I put up this morning. I'm just gonna wait for that answer. Thank you, Tuxedo, I appreciate you, Tuxedo Miguel. Okay, gotcha, oh, yeah, he mentioned that yesterday. Did you watch the, 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 um, the Beckham footage? Hello, Oklahoma. Thank you, Lisa. Do you know what, how I killed it yesterday, Jackie? I actually killed it yesterday uh, at the stadium, right? I was the biggest hero in the fucking stadium. You know what I mean? You don't understand. I got more out of this than anybody else ever. I got more out of this event than anybody else in the city. I, I guarantee you that. I maximized it. My business and my private life are completely intertwined and it's fine. I manage it well. I need a few weeks, Michael Keane. Also, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not in Saudi Arabia. Fuck's sakes. I'm in Hong Kong. Where the fuck is your education? Jesus fucking Christ. Where is your education? I'm in Hong Kong, not Saudi. Are you fucking that dumb or what? Where did Ronaldo even come up? Uh, no, of course not. I wore my Messi jersey uh, to the to the. I wore my excuse me my um, into Miami jersey to the game. I would never do that. I would never do that. But thank you, Straight Up Buster. I've been to Macau many, many, many times. One of my favorite places in the world. I mean, if you can fly to Hong Kong now, then come. If you can't fly to Hong Kong, Mike Janushi, then we have no choice but to do it by mail. The worst thing is to not do it at all, right? My favorite painter is Leonardo, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Fan meetup in Macau? You want to organize it? I'll come. I mean, you've got to be serious about it. Where are you guys going to host me? And you all have to buy the Plenty of Consent merch to meet me, right? Which is plentyofconsent.com. The merch is so cheap, we'll ship it to Macau for free. 
uh, I will come there and then uh, you, I will sign and do videos with all of you, 100%. I have no plans for Canada. No, 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 Michael, if you're coming to Hong Kong and it's at a normal time, not Chinese New Year, I'll get it done in that week for you. Will, I look forward to seeing you in April. Thank you so much. Hope you're well. Love your father. Michael, when are you next in Hong Kong? My favorite type of suit is the one I'm wearing right now, exactly. Very chilly and Murphy. Jesus, look at this guy, Matt. You're a Bro, you have no fucking dollars. You know what I mean? You're a fucking beggar. Seriously. You have no name, you have no fame, you have no cash. Hunter Crawley, long time. Where have you been? Hunter Crawley, excuse me. Bro, I'm I'm not old enough to retire. I got bills to pay. I got three kids in private school. Not even in college yet. How can I even think about retirement? It's impossible. I have no favorites, guys. I wear everything. I wear everything under the sun. Yesterday I wore pink and white. <clears throat> uh, Maximilian, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, and then I will make you something amazing. Okay, so I'll see you in June, Michael King. Okay? Are you Irish? Are you Scottish? Are you English? I know it's broad. Are you Irish? I don't make polo shirts. You watched the monologue, Brandon the Beast? It was great, right? I wanted, My monologue was going to be all of positivity. You know what I mean? All about David Beckham, all about Inter Miami, all about my family, all about my experience. And then my staff are just a bunch of fucking degenerates. You know I mean, they're just such a bunch of fucking degenerates. It is incredible. You know what I mean? I don't even know what to tell you. You had to look at what time I started the monologue, right? What, look at what time I went live. Instead of going live at 10, I went at 10.24. I don't do knits. I stitch. I have lingered on uh, for some time. Thank you, Michael Keane. And I'm only getting very slow responses and trash. So I'm going to say bye. My favorite print, you mean my favorite weave for a sport jacket? I like a very light purple, very narrow herringbone. There's a very specific answer for you. Oh, by the way, if you want to get personalized videos from me, you can get them at cameo.com. I'm one of Cameo's leading creators. Literally, I am always ranked in the top 40 up against, you know, every A-list ce celebrity there is. Why don't you just come now? What is this one day, one day? You know what I mean? Um, come now. Otherwise, just send me your measurements from the measuring chart on my website. We can do it by mail. Over here, it's 10.48 a.m. <clears throat> I don't want to go, right? But there's just so much trash. Those of you who are not even defending me with all these assholes. Uh, yeah, we can work together for sure if you send me your measurements.